And then when you were in India, there was a very important vote that happened when you were there, right? Yes. <laughs> Which is, uh... Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Good for them. It was amazing. I, you know, I remember I, I grew up in New Delhi and I went to a school with, all, it was an all boys school, you know, and I remember knowing some people who were, let's call it in the closet because they w did not have uh, an avenue to come out, you know, and I kept thinking, how stupid is it that a government decides to choose who you can love? It never made sense to me, actually, because love, no one can tell you who to love, right? right. Love is an entity unto itself, yeah. really. Love chooses. Yeah. You don't yeah. get to choose. Yeah. And makes me, I don't know, it just makes me so mad that all these people with these storms within them get to decide, you know, all this, all this hatred within them get to decide how, how you should love someone. It makes no sense. So it makes me really happy. I wish we can all learn a lot from it. You know? Yeah, it makes me happy too. It, yeah. it, 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 it's amazing that there are some places that still haven't come to that, that conclusion. Um, I want to talk about the, uh, the look you had. We didn't show this picture. Oh, Was no. this the entire summer? This? that you, you tried out a, a fancy mustache. Not just a mustache, a lot of people try out a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> um, so it started, I had a little movie, so I had a little beard, and then I grew it out uh, just to see what happens, because you know, all year I'm shooting Big Bang, I have to be clean shaven. And, and then it was great, because everyone started taking me very seriously. And uh, I love spirituality, and then sometimes after a couple of glasses of wine, I get very spiritual. I started, like, spouting about love, like I was just doing, and all these things. And then everyone started calling me, all my friends started calling me Bhakwan, which is a nickname for this spiritual guru in India, which, if you have not seen his documentary, you should, called um, Wild Wild Country. And then you'll realize why they shouldn't call me Bhagwan, because it's not yeah. a great thing. Did fans recognize you? Actually, once in London, I was walking, and um, I kid you not, this girl runs up to me, she grabs me by the shoulders. She's like, Kunal, Kunal, it's you. And then I look at her and she's like, oh, it's not you, sorry. And walks <laughs> off. It's like, I went home and shaved it and I started walking around like, yeah. you recognize yeah. me now? Here I am. I need. So you're filming the last season, the final season of Big Bang. How is that feeling? Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be okay. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be okay. It's bittersweet, you know. Um, I'm still trying to process all of it because it's been such a big part of my life, obviously. It's given me all the blessings in the world. Um, right now, I'm just showing up on time, focused on working. And then I think when I come back from Christmas, the countdown will begin. We'll only have 11 more to shoot. And you get this, the series finale, uh, the day we shoot it is April 30th. Uh, not the day it airs, the day we shoot it. It's actually my birthday. Wow. So it's almost like the character I was born to play is the day that I don't get to play it anymore. There's some kind <laughs> yeah. of something that, I <laughs> yeah. don't know, if I had a beard, it would make sense. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's amazing. That's Isn't really that cool? amazing. Yeah, oh, that's life very comes cool. full circle, man. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Um, and that is the longest running uh, sitcom ever. Yes, ever. it'll be the longest running, 279 episodes. What a dream. Yeah. All right? Good Can't for you. And thank you for everything Good that you. you've done. You're a great inspiration. Well, it's just the coffee mug. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs>